Hi everyone and welcome to Calgary. I'm at the Calgary Palliser Fairmont Hotel for the 2024 Raymond James Portfolio Managers Conference. And look who I bumped into, the normally camera shy, Nick Zabeljack. So Nick, I'm so delighted to get you on camera. I've done enough of these with, uh, with Christian. So great to have you on. So Christian is actually here. He's buzzing around talking to somebody else at the moment. Um, but we've had uh, two days here so far. We wrap up tomorrow. So I'm curious, we had a bunch of presentations today. We'll talk about what some of them were. I'm just curious what some of your big kind of takeaways or, or, or key things that you felt were important for us to learn about today. Yeah, for sure. And first and foremost, just want to say thanks to Raymond James. He put on a great, uh, um, a great, great conference for Darren and I to attend. Um, we did get a chance to get some insight on what's coming down the pipeline for us in the future. So a couple new exciting things for us on the back end um, that you won't really get to see, but we'll get to utilize so some tools coming in for us that will help us service you better and have a little bit more insight on your accounts. Um, the one that you will get to see is going to be the new app. And I know a lot of people have been asking about the app. Yeah. This is on the Canadian platform. Anybody with Canadian accounts, the app will be launching uh, this summer. Um, it's going through all the beta and the testing. They won't say June, July, or August no. to get themselves <laughs> We're going to say labor. this summer, yeah. but, um, but we're, we're super excited about that because there's been a lot of questions around it. Now you'll be able to just download the app on your iPad or on your tablet um, or on your iPhone, and you don't have to use the actual website anymore, so it'll be a... Um, an easier way to view your accounts. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, we've been waiting for it for several years. We, I kind of feel like yeah. it should have come out a few years ago. <laughs> but I also appreciate that it's the kind of thing where they have to get it right the first time. So I don't mind them taking a little bit longer to make sure it's right straight out of the box, right? Yeah. So, it's, so it's worth waiting for. So thank you for your patience on that. So what else do we have? We had, uh, you're right, we've got a little bit of visibility to some of the technology tools that we'll be getting that are coming forward, which is great, some enhancements. Uh, we had some great presentations today. We had a really powerful presentation. I was a little surprised at how straightforward he was. He didn't couch much of his words uh, from the chief economist and chief strategist at National Bank Financial. So they came in and kind of gave us their view of the markets, both in the United States and Canada. Uh, so he was pretty direct on how he thinks things are going, right? So, but you had an interesting point about how Christian and I talked about some of these, team, these themes previously. Yeah, and it was, it was pretty bang on. If you listen, and if you go back and listen to the uh, to the video that Darren and Christian did, I'll at put the a end link year, up here somewhere for it. Yeah. Um, they, uh, it, it's pretty spot on with what we heard today. Uh, the same issues that were arising, or what we were looking out for, what we were worried—I well, shouldn't say worried, but what we were more mindful of—are the same things that are arising now, and that the National Bank Chief Economist is looking at. So um, I'm not going to go too much into detail with that because I know Darren and Christian, you're doing a video yeah. in a couple weeks we'll uh, for a quarterly update. That. So Christian will give you a better, Darren and Christian will give you a better picture, a bigger picture uh, to surround that. But um, but I would say you guys were pretty spot on with the, with, with some so of your stress. <laughs> well, you know, I, li I like the fact that he started off with a quote from Yogi Berra, who I love, and he said, the future ain't what it used to be, uh, so, which is exactly how we're trying to figure out what's going on. So we're, the good news is I think Christian's chasing him down now for some of his charts and graphs that he had. So we'll make sure we bring some of those key messages back to you to give you an idea of kind of the fog we're trying to navigate our way through. Uh, I made sure I kept some notes of some of the other things that we covered. Oh, we, we also had a presentation on fixed income currencies, interest rates we from did. our analysts. We that did. was helpful. Yeah, very insightful, and I know that they'll be, they'll be adding to their team too to help service our clients, you guys, so it'll be a little bit more s seamless. Uh, if you will, again, on the back end, things that we have to deal with, you don't have to worry about because we do it all for you. But, uh, but yeah, we, we got to listen to some of the Raymond James um, trading desks, and then we also got a chance to listen to uh, Capital Group. Yeah, one of our long-term favorites, right? One of our favorite uh, uh, global investment firms. So they did a presentation today all about AI, which we've talked about, and, and we're trying to figure out what that means and and we are aware that this is transformative i thought it was compared to what the internet was like in the 90s their view of it no this is more like the steam locomotive or the printing press is how powerful this idea is so really really helpful to get some perspectives from them as we try to figure out how to incorporate that into what we do um, we also had a great presentation from our compliance people again stuff that it's like talking to the cops but really <laughs> helpful that they shared that with us uh, one thing that was interesting and we know this but it was neat that they mentioned it is that because we're discretionary portfolio managers nick is a, an apm she seemed to be a portfolio manager like me um, we're the most heavily regulated people in, within the investment business in canada 
Canada. So the uh, making sure we stay on top of what the rules are, the regulations, and how things are changing, and the number of things we have to pay attention to, and how we have to build our practice around those protocols to make sure we look after you properly. That was really, really helpful to get a window to what we have now, but also what's coming. Yeah, and it's a lot. coming down the pipeline, and these are all things that we have to be mindful of on our end to make sure that we are on side and servicing you properly. Um, again, being a discretionary portfolio manager doesn't come with light duties. Uh, you trust us, and we have to make sure that we follow the rules from our end. So. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot. There's yeah. a lot. Uh, okay, we also had a couple of advisors uh, that, that talked about some of the things that they've been doing in their practices. And I think actually one of the benefits I think we get the most from coming to these events, uh, and we just had one of our guys just sneak up to say hi to us, but we'll say <laughs> hi to Dave in a second. I noticed that, um, was the fact that we do get to share a lot with their peers. And this is a really nice event to come to because it brings together you know, the top 150 portfolio managers within Raymond James from across Canada. And we don't really get to see them very often except no. at events like this. Yeah, so it's very good, very insightful. Got a chance to walk around, talk to them, see what they're doing. There's something that we can add or change, but uh, um, very, very powerful, as Darren said, to, to talk to uh, to talk to their advisors and portfolio managers uh, that attend the conference. And we have a little bit more tomorrow. We've got our technical market analysts coming in. I think it's astrology and voodoo, but <laughs> we'll look at the charts and the candlesticks and whatever other rolling the dice or chicken bones, whatever those guys look at. I always find them good, those guys entertaining. We're also going to have an update on our cross-border platform, uh, which will be fun, but given that we run the largest cross-border platform or, or wealth management practice within the firm in North America, um, it won't really be much of an update for us, but we'll make sure we don't miss anything on your behalf. So so with that, I think that was a pretty good update. Yeah, it was um, good. It was, worth, it was worth the the Air Canada flight, or you went west? It was, I went west yet. I went west yet. I uh, had to check my bag regardless, even if I just brought a carry on. So that was a little time consuming, but um, yeah, you know what? It was well worth it. Again, Raymond James put on a great, uh, great, great conference for us, and I think there's a lot of good takeaways that we're excited to implement for you and share with you. Okay, well, Nick, I'm glad you made the trip out here, and to you, thank you for watching, and we'll be back to talk to you soon. Have a great day.